Hey friends, my name is Kaylee. Today for Pantry Challenge, I'm going to be making some hamburgers. Today is Monday, and we're going to be making, I'm going to attempt to be making some Italian chicken pasta thing. There's not a name for this. This is just what Bryce throws together when Kaylee's not home yet. And I am, and I might as well try to make some sort of dinner. I'm going to start by cooking this uh, noodles. They're not white rice. Noodles in the tomato juice in the instant pot. That's pretty easy. And then I'm going to take my chicken, which is still defrosting because I didn't pull it out earlier like I should have. And I'm going to grill that on the stove. And then... After my noodles are all done, actually, sorry, after I get that grilled, I'm going to pour my Italian tomatoes into the pot, maybe some other seasonings, take my noodles after they get completed and throw them in the pot as well, stir it all together, maybe add some cheese, get a little more creamy, as what I'm kind of imagining, honestly, I really don't know what I'm making, I just, I, I literally asked, uh, chat, AI chat like what should I make for dinner and this is what it said so and then as I was digging through the freezer I actually found our rolls and I thought hey that would be pretty good for dinner tonight as well so that's what we're gonna do and then when Kaylee comes home we'll either enjoy dinner or we'll fix dinner we'll see this is all literally a guess I have no idea how much to to add to this thing Okay, so I just swear I'm trying to cook the chicken because the dog's mixing in. It's still extremely cold out there. I'm just cooking it really kind of slow just to make sure it's nice and tender. Plus, I'm kind of trying to time when Kaylee will get home. So, no big rush. But it looks good and it smells good. I'm probably about halfway through cooking the chicken right now. And then we'll throw the sauce in here and the, make sure the noodles are done before putting them in here. So, here we go. Okay, the chicken is cooked, mostly all the way, if not all the way. Um, so we're going to release it next. Let it simmer for another 10 minutes or so, then we'll just keep it warm. Today, for Pantry Challenge, I'm going to be making some hamburgers because I've got quite a bit of ground in my freezer. Um, so, I'm just going to make the patties and I will put them on the stove in a cast iron. And then I'm going to kind of do an experiment with these hash browns that I made for breakfast burritos. We have been having them as breakfast burritos. But I thought it'd be fun to kind of try to make them into like a potato cake, I think is what people call it. Um, so I plan to spray this with some cooking spray and then put the hash browns on here, close it, and see how it cooks. Just as a fun little experiment, um, just to have kind of like fry kind of food, potato with our hamburgers. So. I'm gonna get these mashed up, get them in the pan, we'll get going from there. I was a little bit frozen.
closes, that's why I'm kind of smashing it up, making sure that I am able to use it, or if I have to wait a little bit longer for it to thaw. I think we're okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I don't usually do this, do it this way, but because I didn't want to touch the meat and then touch the thing and touch the meat, I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of seasoning on here now. And then I'll separate it out into probably four patties. Uh, and then from there, if I can get this off, from there, I will sprinkle probably a little bit more on top when they're cooking. Mm, this is sealed really well. So this is a pound of meat, so I'm going to do um, four patties to make it about a quarter pound each. One, up there, two, three, four-ish. More on this one. I'll shape them a little bit better than this. But just kind of separating them out. I defrosted this in the microwave, so this part is a little bit cooked already. So it's making it a little bit more difficult to smash down. Probably aren't going to be the best hamburgers, but I'm sure they will taste delicious. They just might fall apart on us. That might be what it ends up looking like, because that. Kind of on top of this. I don't want to smash down more than that. So, I'll wash my hands really quick and then I'll move to take everything over. Well, no, I'll just, I'll just take it and put it on there right now. So, here's our first two burgers being cooked. It's still heating up, so they're, they haven't started actually cooking yet, but what they look like and here's the other two I just got my stove turned on so we'll let those start cooking I'm gonna work on these hash browns now and they might not stick together just the consistency of the hash browns? We'll see. Maybe I'll let this warm up for half a second when it light turns on and says ready. These buns are still a little bit frozen. Maybe I will pour, pour out four, put them on a plate, and then I'll put the rest in the back in the freezer.
do plan to make cookies today. The pudding the chocolate chip cookies that I mentioned in my last video. Um, so I'm going to make them today, show you kind of the recipe and how easy it is to make. So put that to the side. They are starting to sizzle now. It looks so good. All right, so it looks like these hash browns are ready. Not the hash browns, I guess the skillet for it. We'll start with that. Left a little bit longer on there. Let's see if I can even get them off. Hmm. I don't know if it's going to work. Just straight touch brown. These are starting to smell really good. Oh, they stuck. They're on, they're good. All right, I think I'm gonna call that good. Definitely is kind of falling apart, but I just got crispy hash browns to go with our food. Let's 
Tonight, I'm gonna be making my chocolate chip pudding cookies. These are super easy. Um, this is basically all the ingredients you need. I don't have vanilla up here, so I'm gonna replace that for honey. But other than that, this is everything you'll need. All right, that is perfect. I'm just gonna take this out. And then I usually put about 16, well, 16 to 20 on a pan because they tend to stay a little bit more fluffy than other cookies. For the rest of this dough, I decided I'm going to freeze it. That way we have some cookie dough in the freezer and then we all end up eating all the cookies all at once okay today for dinner we're just going to keep it simple i'm going to wash these potatoes and then put them in our air fryer convection oven on bake 400 degrees for about an hour and then we'll just have some sour cream and cheese salt and pepper on it or um if we want we could do some chili on it but that's dinner for tonight